Well, Ogden will soon have a new crime-fighting tool, a blimp. The city worked with Weber State University to develop unmanned aerial surveillance. Fox 13's Erica Vaughn is live with why a dirigible was the top choice. Hey, Erica. Hey, Max. Nice job saying that. That's why I didn't want to say it. Uh, but basically, the mayor of Ogden is saying that it's a blimp is cheaper than a small helicopter or a fixed-wing airplane. They say that it, this blimp can also hover in one place, say, for example, over a parking lot where there may have been a rash of break-ins and they might need some of that surveillance. The blimp that Weber State designed in Ogden was on its police force doesn't look like the typical fat blimp. It's shaped like a cigar. It's it's 52 feet long and 4 feet wide. Cameras are mounted on it and give a really clear view of what's happening on the ground. Weber State Center of Aeronautical Innovation has been testing their creation and says it's perfect for police work. The blimp can hover in place, can pivot, or it can pursue. Its top speed is 40 miles per hour. It becomes a deterrent when people know that there's something watching you and following you. People behave differently, and, we've, and there's good data behind that to show that, that people don't commit crimes when they know they're being watched. So this provides crime prevention as well as, as the intervention that we know it can provide. We did speak with the ACLU. They do have concerns that aerial surveillance like this could um, jeopardize or diminish the public's constitutional rights. And, and they're also concerned about how the video will be used and how it will be stored. Ogden City says it already has policies in place to deal with those types of issues. They're hoping to get this blimp on the streets or patrolling over the streets by the spring. They say it's well within the police force budget, and they really are hoping that this helps put a dent in some of the crime here in Ogden. Live in Ogden, Erica Vaughn, Fox 13 News, Utah.